Welcome to the Film Local YouTube channel, where we promote local films. I'm Lara K, and today I'll be doing a video essay on the short film Weeping Birds by Chan Te Kwan. Death, something that many find hard to accept. In various scenes of this short film, we can see how the wife uses humor as a coping mechanism for death. It is evident in these two scenes that she's visibly upset about her mother's death, but then puts on a front by making jokes or light-hearted replies when discussing it with her husband, not wanting to show how the idea of death and separation hurts her emotionally. Because of this, she likely hoped that by not seeking treatment for her sickness, she'll be able to pass away before her husband so that she does not have to deal with the grieving and mourning of her husband. In fact, the whole film implies that the wife would be the first to pass away, only for the husband to go first instead. In the final scene, we see how the wife isn't actually coping well with the husband's death at all. She rocks back and forth on the couch, looks around anxiously, before lying down on the couch and crying. Throughout the entire short film, we can see the way that they have always openly expressed their love for each other. Even after their minor argument during dinner, they silently made up and consoled each other anyways. They managed to display all five love languages. First, acts of service. This is shown when her husband cooks dinner for the both of them, and also when he helps her wash her hair. Second, receiving gifts. Her husband built coffins for the both of them as a gift for her, knowing that it was difficult to afford a real coffin. Third, physical touch. This is the most obvious love language, shown in multiple scenes of them cuddling or touching each other of some sorts. Fourth, quality time. The husband makes time to visit the cemetery with his wife upon her wishes as well as rest in the coffins with her after she expressed excitement over them. Lastly, words of affirmation. This love language was not as direct as the others, but nevertheless, in this scene, the husband reassured his wife that she did not look ugly despite her old age. The whole short film is very... simple. The acting, cinematography, sound design... details... They aren't too bombastic or dramatic, and that's exactly what makes the film so impactful. I would like to bring up two parallels that really caught my attention. In the very beginning, we see that the old couple comes in through the door after a day of work. But at the end, we see the same exact door, but only the wife comes back home from work. When they rested in the coffins, the husband rested in the left coffin while the wife rested in the right. But after his passing, we only see one coffin remaining. The right one. We're so used to seeing films dramatize death, that when it's portrayed in such a casual and mundane manner, it suddenly feels a lot more bittersweet and emotional than it should. This shows how they treated the aftermath of death just like it's any other day. It may be any other day for everyone, but to her, it's her first day of work without her husband.